a lot to enjoy in this movie. Oh, yeah. And I'm really excited to share with the audience at Dragon Con this week. And then every Friday night, forever. Forever. <laughs> Our day jobs kind of are completely different. Oh, yeah. For the most part of what we do at uh, Rocky Park, I think for the three of us, Aaron is the only one who's actually worked in the film industry. Uh, I have a boring day job, but the things that really make me excited for a Friday night is Rocky Park. I recruited some of my film crew that I work with in the sound department from Rocky Horror cast members and crew members because I know that they're reliable, I know what to expect from them, and so when the strike is over, we'll get back to work, but you know, at the same time, I've been able to impart a lot of uh, experience onto these people, and they've been able to enjoy uh, the, the knowledge and coming from the Rocky Horror cast, they've been able to do an excellent job in various fields. How has um, the growth of Dragon Con affected the growth of your Rocky Horror group? I mean, I'm a, I've assumed that it's grown immensely since then in 22 years. We've had pretty much the same large volume audience ever since our first performance here at Dragon Con. It's a, such a niche um, experience that you know everybody has heard of us at this point because of Dragon Con. But our audience pretty much stays the same. We can go on late on a Saturday night. I mean, not real, real late, uh, provided that there's no glitches. But we go on late. And our audience, they uh, stake a line around the building to wait to get into the show. All right. We have, like, as a cast, we end up having a busy season at the plaza, basically, from about now, really through the very beginning of November. People see us here, they want to keep coming to the plaza where they miss the show. People want to join our cast because they see us here and they think, oh, okay, this is something I could really get involved in. Especially, like, last year for Dragon Con, our Rocky was very was a very short person who was actually playing our friend this year. Yeah. And so it's kind of like, okay, you don't need to be this larger than, like, personality just because you see this on the screen. And people realize, okay, I could do this. I would like to do this. This isn't just some sort of a pet idea. These are real people that work on day jobs. Um. <laughs> All right. I think well, one thing that uh, yes. has affected our cast in a big way is, like, this is our biggest show of the year. Our cast always looks forward to this. We put a lot of work into it. We build it up internally, and it's become kind of a core part of our season. And so because of that, because of all the hype around Dragon Con, we build it up in our own cast as well. So the bigger Dragon Con you get, the more excited we get for how great the show's going to be. All right, well, thank you very much for your time, guys. And I will definitely see you guys later on tonight.